hello friends in my previous video i showed you how to create an app or how to display fragments on button click this is the app which i created in my previous video and you can watch it there so here when i click on button one it displays this fragment one and it contains a button which displays this text and when i click on button two it displays this fragment two and when i click on this button it displays this is fragment two so i have these two fragments which are displayed when i click a button now in this video i will show you how to display fragments in a view pager when selected from a tab layout so instead of these buttons i will have a tab layout and instead of this frame layout here i will have a view pager so let's start this is the app which i have created in my previous video i'll just show you the cradle build.cradle of this app Okay, so this is the build.creator. It contains compile SDK version 30 and target SDK version 30. And these are the dependencies which it has. And important ones are the app compact, material, and constraint layout. Now let's move to the activity main, which is in resource in layout folder. We have this activity main. So in activity main, we had these two buttons and a frame layout. So I'll just remove this frame layout from here. And I will remove the buttons from here. Okay, and now I will add a tab layout. You have to select this one material dot tabs dot tab layout and for this the width should be match parent height wrap content you have to set an id for this android id at id i'll set it as underscore tab then we have to set the tab mode I will set the tab mode to fixed since I'll have only three items here. I will have three tabs and I will display three fragments. Next, I will set the tab text color and I will set it to blue color. Hash F00 FF. This is blue color. I think there is one extra zero here. Okay, this is blue color. Next, I'll set the tab indicator height. Let it be 4 dp. And tab indicator color. This I will set to red. Okay, so we have the tab layout. But we have to set the constraints for this tab layout. So I will set the constraint at top to the top. And the left constraint to left this will be the right constraint okay constraint end to end of parent constraint start to start of parent okay. and it still has some problem constraint top to top of parent so th after these three constraints it is done we have these three constraints next i'll add the view pager just below this so here i'll add view pager 2 actually i'll add view pager 2 and for this the width will be match parent and height i'll set it to 0 dp
and we need id for this android id i will give id as view pager and next we have to set the constraints okay so i'll set the height also to match parent okay so for this i'll set the top constraint constraint top to bottom of at id top constraint left to start of parent and constraint right to end of parent constraint bottom okay constraint start to start of parent horizontal bias we do not need this constraint top is to bottom of tab fine and constraint end to end of parent now we need constraint bottom constraint bottom to bottom of parent so that's all so now we have a tab layout okay but it should be below this i'll pull it down further i'll just change the height to 0 dp yeah now it seems fine so here i have this tab layout and below this i have the view pager next we have to create the fragments so fragment one i have already created it contains a button which is button 3 i'll just change it to button 1 and it contains a text view for this i will change the id to text view 1 and then i'll have to change it here also okay for this text view i will change the text style to bold i will set some background color here background color and i will give it a light green background color it will be 66ff66 so fragment 1 is here in first fragment or java in on create view i create the fragment view frag is equal to inflated or inflate r dot layout dot fragment 1 the inflator which i use is this one it is there in the on create view method then uh, the container is also there in on create view method and attached to root false then i re, uh, return this frag view after that in on view created here i will set the id to button 1 and this will be text view 1 since i have changed it in xml file so here i define button 1 and text view 1 and for button 1 i set on click listener and when this button 1 is clicked for text view 1 i set the text as this is fragment 1 so all this is the first fragment now we go to fragment 2 in fragment 2 here also we have one button and one text view and here also i will set some background color let it be red color nine nine okay uh, ff six 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 so this is light red color and in second fragment dot java okay here i'll change the id to button 2 and for this text view i'll change the id to text view 2 then i have to change it here also text view 2 
now it seems fine in second fragment dot java here i have to change the ids text view button 2 and text view 2 and here also i will change it to button 2 and text view 2 so that it remains consistent button 2 and text view 2 okay so this is the second fragment now i will create a third fragment so for creating third fragment i will click here then click on new layout resource file and this i will name it as fragment 3 fragment 3.xml in this i will be adding a button and text view the same way as in fragment other fragment so i'll just copy it from fragment 2 or i'll just add it here it is very simple you have to since this is a you can see it is a constraint layout in constraint layout we can just drag and drop and set the constraints of the widgets so here i will drag a button and then i will drag a text view for the button i will set the top constraint the left constraint then the right constraint and the bottom constraint okay now for the text view for the text view i will set the left constraint the right constraint and the bottom constraint okay and the top constraint also once i will set the top constraint to this thing but now it lies yeah so now it looks fine this will be button 3 and the text view will be text view 3 here also i will make it text view 3 and i will set the background color to some color like 88 aa and ff so this is light blue for the text view i'll set the text size to 24 dp and text style bold okay so now this is done we have three fragments now now for this fragment 3 we have to create a java file so i'll go to this java then my project and here i will click right click create new java class in java class i will create third fragment and this will extend fragment you have to select this android x dot fragment dot app and inside this i will add on create view okay now it has added on create view now i will remove this line I'll remove this from here and same thing this has to be removed 
because we do not have jet brains dot annotations in our project okay this seems fine now now we have to inflate our view and create a view from that so here i will create a view frag is equal to i'll use this inflator inflator dot inflate r dot layout dot fragment 3 comma the container comma attached to root false okay and after this i will return this view so i'll just remove this and return frag so this is on create view next method will be on view created from this also we have to remove jet prints dot annotations now here we can find our button and text view we can define our button so i'll define a button button 3 Then three is equal to view dot find view by id r dot id dot button three and I will define the text view text view three is equal to view dot find view by id r dot id text view 3 and then set on click listener for button 3 in this on click listener i set the text of text view 3 this is fragment 3 okay so now we have three fragments each of different color and each having a button and we'll go to the main activity now in main activity we'll remove the previous code okay and here we'll define the tab layout tab layout i'll name it as t a b l a y o u t tab layout is equal to find view by id r dot id dot underscore tab then i will define view pager 2 and this will be view pager view pager 2 view pager is equal to find view by id view pager okay next we have to set the tabs of tab layout or we can we have to add tabs to the tab layout and the codes i'll just copy the codes which we have to use so i'll get it from here So here first we have to add tabs. I'll remove this part of code. So first we have to add tabs to the tab layout. The tab layout is this one. 
I'll copy this, paste it here. Tab layout dot add tab, tab layout dot new tab dot set text. Here we have to set the text for this tab, and let's set it as frag one, frag one, and the position will be position zero. Okay, so now I have added one tab. Now I will select this and paste it here. Then frag two will be at position one, and frag three will be at position two. Now we'll come to this fragment state adapter. We'll come to this later, and we'll set the adapter for this view pager later. So next is the tab layout mediator. You have to select this. Okay, then it will be done. Now this will be the tab layout. And view pager. This is same. Comma new tab layout mediator or tab configuration strategy. In this, here you have to select Android X dot annotation at null non null, and we have to set the text of tabs according to the position. Okay, so here I'll add. If position equal to zero, tab dot set text frag one copy this and paste it here. If position equal to one. Tab dot set text frag two and if position equal to two tab dot set text frag three. All this code will be provided at link in description, so you can copy it from there. Next, we set on tab selected listener for this tab layout, and in this. Add on tab selected listener. I have this method on tab selected. Here we set the current item of view pager to the position of the tab. And on tab unselected is empty. On tab reselected is empty. And in the end, we set the current item to zero. Actually, this is the beginning. Means in on create we set the current item to zero. And when we select any tab, we set the current item to the tab position. Next is a class fragment state adapter. This is the adapter. So this has to be outside on create, or you can place it inside on create also. But I will put it also outside on create. So I'll cut it from here. So here you can see that on create ends here. After the on create, I have this class. Screen slide pager adapter extends fragment state adapter. You have to import this Android X dot view pager two dot adapter fragment state adapter. So this is the constructor screen slide pager adapter app compact activity. This can be used only in app compact activity. Next is this fragment. This should be Android X dot fragment. And next, we have to return the fragment according to the position. So, and last in the end, we have get item count, which should return three, since our we since we have three tabs and three fragments, it will return item count as three. Now here we have to return a fragment. So here I will define a fragment. Fragment, 
drag underscore new is equal to null okay this is null now if position is equal to zero then drag new is equal to it is equal to new first fragment if you have seen the previous video you can find it there also how we create the first fragment second fragment. so we can simply create first fragment by writing new first fragment so if position equal to zero frag new will be new first fragment similarly i'll just copy this and in next line if position equal to one frag new equal to new second fragment and if position equal to two frag new equal to new third fragment and in the end it will return this frag new okay so it will return the fragment according to the position now we use this screen slide page adapter in setting the adapter of view pager so here we create a new fragment state adapter called page adapter is equal to new screen slide page adapter main activity dot this and we set it as adapter of view pager and that's all now let's check this okay so here is the app here you can see that it contains this tab layout at the top and view pager at the bottom and we can slide it slide it from left to right and right to left and we can click on any of the buttons the buttons in the fragments are also working and the states are saved as well so this is how you can add tab layout and fragments so that's why in this video thank you very much for watching this